I decided to build a Solodoa base with such small upkeep, what may surprise you? Two open cores with so many boxes, which protected by turrets from all sides. Also, I built best double bunker in Rust right now, without any weak spot. And my lovely floor stacking for insane roof protection. Anti-door camper turrets with double chilling protection and all what you see before, only for few stones upkeep. <laughs> From both sides, two of the turrets, which see all blind spots behind your base. Don't worry about primal weapon or bullets, but high velocity rockets can destroy it. These turrets only versus door camper. One more what you need to know. You can add shooting floor or additional honeycombs if you have resources, or compound with externals, for example. But for such resources, it's best choice. There are two entrances on different sides, with two furnaces rooms only for charcoal. Over you, you can see ladder hatch, which leads to the main roof, where you will play while online. From both sides, of the turrets behind chilling, so it's hard to destroy even by rockets. Simple roof picks from each side and shotgun trap. The main idea of this base – cheap, but at the same time good protection with comfy space for boxes and all useful deployables. Big thanks to today's sponsor Rustly. Rustly fast-growing Rust website with cool and interesting games like Mines. There are a lot of deposit methods like using crypto, Rust skins and your credit card. And withdrawing skins is easy and instant as well. You can battle against real players or robots in case battle, coin flips and even mine. Using my code you can get 5 free cases right now or you can check daily crates every 24 hours. Click link in description or go to rusty.com and use code LIMI. Let's back to the video. Going up, we can see other picks for kill enemy near your base, if turrets will destroy or you still don't place it. On the other side, all the same. So our main roof, with 4 turrets for online protection and so many boxes for solo duo. Totally 15 boxes, 6 electric furnaces, 2 beds and 2 lockers. And if you have any questions or you wanna your own private custom base, with all your wishes you can write me on my discord channel. Also I have nice guide for floor sucking if you have any problems with it. All useful links in description, let's continue. Our first stability bunker, if you wanna open it, destroy it with half wall and that's it. As you can see it's our second small open core before you don't build last step. Again turrets and boxes, I hope it's enough space for door. Behind door we have another one, another one. High quality metal bunker for main TC and same steps to open it, so nothing complicated. And if you like my bases don't forget to follow and press like. Four garage doors and armored window for offline protection. You also often ask me about trade cost to DC, so my new experimental section on this video. Also, you can use explosive ammo to save one rocket. After 16 rockets, they have access to open core, but turrets still alive and you can add garage doors for additional protection, if you have gears. Now Raider need to destroy garage doors or if he guessed where to see, Raid can be finished. But don't forget about other loot rooms on main roof. If you split resources, they need additional 8 rockets and more high velocity rockets for turrets behind chain links. Time to show you build cost and upkeep and you will wonder how small it is. And one more, if you like this raid part and wanna see in my future videos, don't forget to write about it in comments, I read all. So it's classic circle base, let's start with triangle foundation and single wooden door frame. Later we will destroy it. Also first foundation very important, place like on video please. Now close your roof and place tweak construction, don't upgrade it, on future we will remove it to upgrade floor stacking part. You can place deployables as you want, but your start base ready. Now most difficult part, but believe me, if you watch my guide for floor stacking in my discord or I will add link in description, you can do it without any problem. Same steps for foundation left, for right and for forward, do the same like me. 
Remove twiggies and jump on main foundation to find angle. Now center to center and try slow down from low walls. Find this movement when your model drop without any buttons. When you see blue foundation, fast click forward. On my guide I show my keyboard for better understanding. If all blue, you finish with floor stacking and can upgrade foundation. If something red, try again.
Thanks for watching and don't forget check these cool bases.